Good afternoon. My name is Kay Kirkman. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the real deal. What's really going on in real estate right now? Um, I'm going to title this video, Confessions of a Real Estate Investor. Right now, everybody knows about this so-called real estate crisis and what's transpiring right now. And I've been blessed to have my business continue to strive during these tough economic times. And whenever I let people know that, hey, I'm a real estate investor, this is what I do full time, the first thing out of their mouth is, oh my God, um, how is that working out for you? Because naturally, when you see all this negativity about real estate right now, the first thing you think of is, oh my God, real estate is horrible right now. His business must be doing absolutely uh, wretched, so to speak. And the truth of the matter is, there are a lot of real estate investors right now who have lost their business, lost their properties, they have to close up shop and start a new profession. And that reason is simply because they haven't taken the time to educate themselves on the importance of real estate, how to successfully invest in a particular market. And I'm a fan of education and I continue to educate myself. And that's one of the primary reasons that my business continues to strive. Today we're gonna to be closing on a deal and it is November the 4th, 2009. This deal is a single family home on the south side of Chicago and uh, we're very excited about it. You know, this is a home that we rehabbed. We have a first time home buyer going in there. So it's a win-win for everybody. We're selling this property below market value. So we're happy, the seller's happy. Of course, the owner originally is happy and everyone in the transaction is happy because we're all gonna make some money. The seller, I mean the buyer, I should say, is going to get a little money. We paid all his closing costs, helped him out with his down payment, and we found a system that will actually work in 2009 with this current real estate crisis. With that being said, I know a lot of investors that are uh, at the point of that they're ready to pull out their hair uh, or what's left of it, and they have had to get their cars repossessed, get their homes foreclosed on, because they just don't know a system that will work right now. The systems and the methods that people used five, six, seven years ago, it just won't work in today's society, in today's economy. You have to find a system that will work. And I tell people all the time, the real estate market is just like the stock market. You have to reinvent yourself. You have to reinvent your company. And we found a way to do that. And I'm excited because I have had the opportunity to share my success with a lot of my students, and they too have become successful. So we're going to be celebrating a little later on this evening. We're going to have drinks, uh, have some cigars, and just celebrate another closing. When people all around us are saying that real estate is bad right now, it's a horrible profession. But we're continuing to make money. You know, We're going to continue to make money even into 2010. we got a couple more projects that we're going to be starting on uh, real soon. we got a two-flat that we're going to be rehabbing. got a couple more single-family houses that are on the books to uh, start rehabbing within the next 20, 30 days or so. So we're really excited about it. And we're going to be taking you on tours on our next properties, as usual. But I want to sit down today and just give you guys a little insight on the real deal of real estate right now. Um, I've made some mistakes in real estate, and that has led to me losing some money. At first, I used to pride myself on the fact that I've never lost a dime in real estate. And uh, that was my claim to fame, so to speak. But I had a few transactions that turned out to be a blessing in disguise. I ended up losing about $25,000 on one property uh, via a land contract that I decided not to execute. So that was a big hurt uh, feeling, but in the end, it was a blessing because that property uh, turned out not to be a deal that I would have wanted to have in my portfolio a year or two later, which is now. So that's one deal that I lost $25,000 on. A few years back, I decided to expand to a different market. That market was Gary, Indiana. That by far was one of the worst investments that I've ever done as a real estate investor. I listened to an investor that I knew that was making a little money out there, and he convinced me to go out and try that market. In real estate, you have to take risk, and I'm willing to take risk, and risk does come with rewards. You just gotta find a way to minimize your risk and maximize your reward. So I thought this would be an instance that I could go and minimize my risk because the properties were dirt cheap out there, and maximize my reward. Well, it turned out to be a disaster. I bought properties out there that were, at the time, cheap, and once the market crashed, it turned out to be just torrential. 
properties out there are worth five dollars, so to speak. And it was just a nightmare. I've personally seen the city of Gary, Indiana, bankrupt a few hard money lenders. And I'm not going to give you their names, but if you're an investor, you can do some research, and you'll find out which lenders are no longer lending, uh, which hard money lenders are no longer lending hard money. And I can guarantee you that the lenders that aren't lending anymore had a, a lot of their uh, portfolio based out of Gary, Indiana. The flip side to that was that I didn't purchase too many properties out there, um, so the hit that I took wasn't as bad as some of the other lender, uh, investors that I knew. I know investors with 20, 30 units out there. And now, those properties are worth absolutely nothing. So, um, I had to come to grips with, hey, you have to find a system that works. Venturing out to Gary, Indiana wasn't part of my system. It wasn't part of our business plan. But again, as a real estate investor, you want to take risk, you know. So, that was a risk that I took, and it turned out not to give me any reward. So, I learned, and I I know now that I have to stay in my lane. I know what works. I know what will work every single time that I purchase a property. And that system is purchasing property in the Chicagoland area. Not the north side, not the east side, not the west side, but the, specifically the south side of Chicago. And every single time I do that, I have success. I've had success and I will continue to have success. Uh, and that's part of the reason why we're closing today because I'm very thorough. We have a system that works. And we know a we know how to get from step A to step C to step F all the way to Z in a very systematic way, and that leads us to days like this where we're closing and we're going to be celebrating. So I wanted to just sit down and tell you guys again some of the, the woes of real estate. If you guys are interested in learning what it takes to become a successful real estate investor in the Chicago land area, not in Indiana, not in East Chicago. Uh, but in the Chicagoland area on the south side, you have to come to our next event. This will be our last free real estate seminar of 2009. We're going to be telling you guys exactly what it takes to become a successful real estate investor so that in 30, 60 days, you can be sitting in your home or wherever filming a video about to close within the next hour or two and having drinks, celebrating, whatever it is that you do to celebrate your accomplishments. So, again, I'm going to extend this invitation. You guys have to go to our next free real estate seminar. Our seminars are second to none. We use methods that work in 2009. So, again, our seminar is going to be November 21st, 2009, right here in our office in Madison, Illinois. If you would like to register for our next uh, free real estate seminar, you need to click on the link right here and Put all your information in, and you'll be able to register for our event. Again, this is going to be our last real estate seminar of 2009. You do not want to miss this. Again, to register for our free seminar, all you have to do is put your information right here, and you'll be directed to our link to register. Or you can simply go to the ChicagoWealthBuilders.com to complete your reservation. Again, this is an event that you will not want to miss. If you attend this event, we're going to make sure that you are equipped with the proper knowledge and education to go out and make sound investments. Right now, the winter time, which is coming up, is the time to stock up on properties. You're going to want to get these properties rehabbed and get them on the market ready for spring. Once spring rolls around, first-time homebuyers have gotten their tax returns, they're ready to go out there, starting to look for properties. And if you start investing right now, you will have properties that will have 90-day seasoning on them. So, again, this is the time to pick up property. So, I'm going to urge you again to come on out, check out this event. It's going to be an event that you will not want to miss. I look forward to seeing you. Take care. God bless.